What's up guys, today we are going to be doing an install with the VRTune ECU flash with the brand new Alien Tech PowerGate 3 module. This module works on many different ECU types, but today we're going to show you how it works on the BMW 135i N55 motor. All right, after you've configured the device on your computer, you want to bring it out here to your vehicle and plug it in to the OBD2 port. You can see here the screen will start loading. We've got our cool VR Tune logo that'll pop up in place. And then you'll see four different icons to start the process. There it is, VR Tuned. And now we've got the logos here. So the first thing we need to click on is the tuning button. And then we're going to select our vehicle. This is a one series, so we're going to select one series. And then we will choose our model. Now this is gone uh, going by this is going by ECU type. So we're going to actually go down till we see MEVD and then 135i. This is an N55 engine, so this car is actually a 2012. Okay, there we have MEVD, so we're going to go down until we see the 135i. And there we go, this is a seven speed. And hit the next button. All right, so we'll put the key in the ignition. And we'll turn to the on position so that way we've got all lights on the dash up. And when we do the reading and writing of the ECU, we want to make sure we have a battery charger on the car so we have a good 12 volt. Going to the battery so you don't have any issues with it dying or interrupting during flashing process. So now we can confirm. And it's going to go through the steps here, um, communicating with the ECU, and then it'll give us the option to read or ID depending on the ECU type. Either way, once you read or ID, then you can upload that to us, and that's how we'll get the information to provide you with the tuned file. Okay, stock file is missing, so we're going to do a read. And the read time is gonna depend on the ECU type and size of the stock file. So here we go, doing the reading part, saving that data, it goes pretty quick. Uh, once that data is saved, it'll give us the successful, and we can turn the ignition off. And remove our key. Now what we're going to do is take that to our computer, just like we would if this was a, uh, if we were a normal retail customer in our garage. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And now we can unplug it from the OBD2 port and take it to our computer. Okay, now inside with your computer, you're going to want to plug the power gate into your PC with the provided uh, USB cord. You can see we got it plugged in here. And then we're going to launch the application. So now we'll just go ahead and double click on it and go through the process. So you can see it, it opens up the application and then it connects and identifies to the device. With the device identified, we can do the update or skip the update. Usually updates are only necessary with uh, version changes or issues needing to be resolved. So we'll go through the update process to show you how that is. All right, the tool has been updated and now we're going to download the data so we can submit that to VR Tuned. Right here you can see we've got several options. Uh, download log, the logs used in case there's any issues programming. Um, we've got device info, that's going to show us um, vehicle VIN, what ECU type, software number, that's all on the ECU. Um, what we want to do right now is download data. So we'll click download data and very simple, click start. And it's going to download the data off the device and then we're going to save that to our computer. And that is what we're going to submit to the VR Tuned database. 
Okay, we've saved the read, so we'll hit save right there. And you can see that's done now. So now we're gonna upload that to VR Tuned. To upload it to VR Tuned to get your new tune file back, you go to vrtune.com slash installation. And that is where you have already been because you've seen the instructions as we have linked here. So now we'll click on the upload file and enter in all of your information so we have that here. Once you submit your file and it says it's been successfully sent, now it's just time to wait and we will send you back your tuning file shortly. Once you receive the file back from us, you're going to save that to your hard drive, open up the PowerGate open up the PowerGate fucking Christ, what is this thing called? Open up the PowerGate software and click on Upload Data. Here we will select the file that we saved. And once we do that, it'll begin writing the file to your PowerGate. Once the data has finished, you'll see the pop-up come here. You click OK. And now everything is completed on your PC. And it's time to take the handheld back to your vehicle to flash the new tune file. All right, we've returned back to the car. Now we can write the tune file. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this back in. Now with the device loading up, we'll go ahead and turn the key to the on position. And make sure we have all the lights on the dash, your PSM, ABS, all those. So now we'll go ahead and choose tuning and continue with writing of the file, yes. And you can see we've got the stock file, original file, and our tune file. So we're gonna choose this one and we'll hit the next button. And now we're gonna go through the writing process. So you can see it's communicating with the ECU and it's gonna start the countdown and you can see the progress bar go across as it is flashing the new tune file to the ECU. As it goes through, it pops up this box that the operation may take a few minutes. And most importantly, do not unplug the tool. You should never interrupt the flashing process. Dead battery, unplug a tool or anything, it may brick your ECU, which then would require you to send the ECU in for possible recovery. You'll notice warning signs pop up on the dash. This is completely normal as it is going through and deleting data and then writing the new data to the ECU. The file is still going through the flashing process. This typically is about 10 to 15 minutes. Now it's gonna request us to put the key back in, turn the ignition on. All right, you can see that the writing has been successfully completed and to switch ignition off and now we can disconnect the power gate from the OBD2 port. All right, so you've seen the process of how the power gate works to flash a vehicle with the VR Tune ECU flash. Now we've completed it, no other steps required. With this in your car, you can always flash back to the original file or different tune files. So that's it, now you know how it's done. If you wanna get tuning for your car, make sure you check out vividracing.com.